Hello, so I'm doing the blue petals, I'm making a blue flower. Here's the orange and magenta one and I'll show you how I put the flower together. This is how you make the petal. Just make a slip knot and then make three stitches. Any cast on method that you like. But if there's anybody watching this who would like to um, learn how to knit so that you can make a flower I'm going to be linking to a video down below this video that shows you the basics of knitting that will allow you the skills required to make this flower which is very simple actually so you learn some very basic knitting skills. From these three stitches I'm going to turn them into six stitches so I knit into the front and the back of each stitch to double that amount that's on the needle. Knit into the front, knit into the back, knit into the front, knit into the back. So now I have six stitches. I'm going to just pull your little starter thread there and pull back. It only takes a few rows to make this petal. Two. Six. So when you pull back, just count your stitches to make sure that you've got the right amount. The next row is a make increase row. So I'm increasing each stitch again, doubling it. So the six stitches are going to become 12 stitches by knitting into the front and the back of each stitch again. So here I am just making 12 stitches and you do exactly the same as you did for the when you made the six stitches. Turn it over and pull back. Try to keep the needle in when you do it. Just joking. So that's ten, eleven, twelve. Last increase row now. We're going to double the twelve stitches. To 24 stitches. Same technique, knit front and back of each stitch. Knit into the front, knit into the back, left stitch of the needle. Front. And now I have 24 stitches. So I do the same that I did before and just pull back. Count the stitches when you're pulling back. Then you know you've done it all correct. You haven't accidentally not made a stitch. Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, and twenty four. 
so there's no more increased rows. Now we're going to add in the trim colour that gives this cute edging. Oh, there's on the blue petal, I've added in a dark blue. On this one, I added in a magenta to the orange. So I've got my dark blue yarn here, and how I do that, just tie it on to the yarn you've been you are using and we're going to double up how we use this to knit so just pull it up hold on to that short bit the tail bit and get those two in your right hand they're the working yarns now we're going to be working with two working yarns and just knit across 24 stitches across make sure you don't accidentally um, say go like that and only get one of the yarns make sure you get both yarns and each those two yarns now make a stitch so you've still got 24 stitches but with two different colours for each stitch all the way across. That's 22, 23 and 24. Now we just turn it around and we're going to purl back making sure you get the both of the colours into each stitch and wrapping around both colours. So that's one, two, three, so I'm just coming back to the end of that pearl row, 23, 24 stitches and that's it. It's time to cast off and the casting off will give that effect. It gives this effect here which rolls over. You'll see. So just put two stitches on the right hand needle and pull the first stitch over that second stitch and continue doing that all of the way along. So I'm just getting towards the end of this. When you're left with one stitch just pull it up like that. Release your needles. Cut a little bit of a tail, like that, and then pull those both threads through like that, and you've got this shape. Get the thread that is the same colour, the yarn that's the same colour as your main body of the flower petal and thread it with a darning needle and now we're going to gather up this petal get that dark colour out of the way just along the lower edge so just go right over to the other side close to the edge as you can get to this other dark blue colour over here which is the other edge and then just pull it and you gather it up like that then take those two threads and those two turn it over and tie them
just make a knot. I've kept that on there to remind me which is that one because I'm just going to put, gather it up a little bit more. That's it. Take the darning needle off and then give it a knot it again so it's nice and secure. There you go. A petal. So I've now got five petals. And these petals make the flower. So gather up all of your yarns like that with all of the petals facing upwards and bring them around in some sort of a fashion like that. You don't have to put them correctly into position just yet. Just place that there at the in the middle and they're all facing upwards. Cut a piece of yarn, just a short piece, and gather it around all of those and tie a knot like that. Or double tie, double tie a knot. There you go. And then you can get these and just part them somehow and pull them a bit tight so that now you've got all of these petals gathered together. Now you can arrange them how you like. Once you've got them arranged in a visually appealing way, just thread your darning needle Again, cut, cut some yarn, thread your darning needle, and then just sew those petals into place. So to get your beads on, thread a strand of yarn onto the needle, just pull your bead on onto the strand like that. So I have the beads on this flower now and I just have to deal with the back. So to tie off the back and deal with that and just get two strands, tie them off a double knot and oops, a double knot <laughs> and cut and keep doing that until you've done all of your strands. So, as you saw, I don't know, I've tied off all the strands on the back. Now I'm going to make a little square to, of knitted fabric to put over it. Now, to tidy up the back, I've just done a little square. I'll leave a quite a longish yarn. Turn that over. I've cut all my strands down. I'm just going to put this little piece over and sew it into place. Anyway, at the end of that, you might want to embellish a beanie hat that you've made. 